how to get information about your bloodline when relatives don't want to give it away. There might be another moment that is very common and you need to pay attention to. That is a good question. Thank you for asking. Many who became interested in their own family tree started extracting information from still alive relatives. But relatives are as silent as the grave and it seems they have nothing much to hide. Well, that happened 20 or 30 years ago. Who cares about that now? Especially since all this can be twisted in this way and that. But still, they keep silent. The following problem, the following impact, can play a big role here. The thing is that your relatives... You're going to make a big mistake if you perceive them as independent individuals who know what they are doing, who have a will, a mind and so on. Each person is always included in a certain egregore. And this egregore controls a person's consciousness, primarily through the concepts of good and bad. It influences a person by causing a sense of shame, through a sense of conscience. It is such a deep-lying quality of a person, like internal morality. It exists in everyone, so it is an innate and predetermined quality. That is a mandatory program according to which a person must be present here. If a person doesn't have an innate sense of conscience and shame, he most probably has some kind of failure in his program. An average healthy person always has this sense, but it is not assigned to anything. That is just a function, a program for determining the inner correctness and incorrectness of one's actions. Any egregore tries, first of all, to attach this program, to attach it to itself on its own algorithmics. That is, to integrate into a program what is good, what is bad, what should be ashamed of, what should not be ashamed of. Since this program exists, it is very well integrated into any egregore. Accordingly, your relatives similarly have been integrated and maybe are still integrated into a certain egregore. And this egregore says, this information should not be given, this information is shameful, and this information remains to lay unclaimed inside the consciousness. And a relative will never give it away for one reason. He thinks that this information is shameful. From the side of an egregore, it is not always done for the benefit of a person. In most cases, an egregore causes one to feel ashamed of something and hide some information, because this information can serve as a threat to an egregore itself, meaning to the connection between a person and an egregore. Did I make myself clear? A person has only to raise this information to the surface, and the connection between him and an egregore could be broken. More than anything, an egregore fears that a free and a voluntary donor will get out of its influence. Accordingly, as soon as you touch on this information a little, the consciousness immediately collapses in horror, in a nightmare, in amnesia. A person himself doesn't know what he is doing. Therefore, before influencing one's relatives in order to get this information from them, they must be removed out of this egregore. What if they don't want to? Of course they don't want to, but who's going to ask them? They must first be provisionally closed from this, closed from an egregore, which forbids giving information. It could be the Christian egregore. For example, a person generally cannot say a word under the icons. Take him away into the woods, where Christianity has no right to influence, by the way, keep in mind that very bright and powerful natural sources of power are the only space where the system has no right to influence a person. So into the desert, the woods and the ravine, far away from human settlements, where no resonating churches are around. Take your relative away and let him uncover everything. At the very least, lock him up and remove the icon. If both of these things fail, a relative is already old enough, lives in the city, and there is no way to take him away. There are rune staves, special rune staves that close a person from the egregorial space. Who will study the runes, or is currently studying with Alla Borisovna, will subsequently get this stave from her. It's called a The Unlocker. Such a special stave was made in order to close a person from an egregore, so it doesn't have any influence, doesn't have any influence on a person, at least for a while. And at that moment, you can get the information out of him. 
This program of fear and shame, which becomes activated by egregore when a certain block of information is being touched, doesn't work anymore. The shame remains inside, but it is no longer directed at this information specifically. A person begins to open up. That is, before you get the information out from your relatives, you need to be well prepared since they won't give it out just like that. That is not their fault. It is their misfortune. They lived for many years, for example, under the Christian egregore, which suggested to them which information they definitely didn't need. Who can tell you that there were sorcerers in the family? They will never tell you that. Unless it's a life or death situation, that's when they start to spill it out somehow. When they understand that it's time to tell, because it's time to do something, time to do something. Otherwise, they are as silent as the grave, like it never even happened. So, of course, one must, first of all, understand which egregore dominates over each of his relatives and how it can influence them. So approach this issue as a scientist. Before exploring something, explore all aspects of the formation of human consciousness and understand of where to expect problems from. Sometimes it seems that the relative talks about it but approaching a certain barrier, he falls into a rage, begins to panic. And sometimes he can begin to behave extremely inadequately, up to grab the gun. Anything can happen. Sometimes they even lose consciousness from such blocks in their mind, from these programs that forbid them to touch this information, to say anything to anyone because it's going to hurt everyone else. And all this is happening because if a person would give this information out and raise it on the surface, he can cease to be a simple puppet of an egregore. He will increase his own existential volume, since existential volume is the experience of a person that includes the experience of his bloodline. And the more experience you have, the stronger you become. And you become invulnerable to egregores. They already can't take you just like that. They will be forced to place a high value on you, which is very disadvantageous for them, as we've already discussed. It is extremely disadvantageous for them to value your time more highly than your neighbor's time. This is precisely the most basic task of any egregore, to do everything to make you devalue yourself. And this means you have to voluntarily lose your memory as well. Such an intricate system, unfortunately.